Hey guys, last week I showed you how to join sounds inside of a combinator. This week I'm going to show you how to split those sounds up between your keyboard amongst different octaves or together doing multiple sounds at once. And if you go back to last week's video, you see we already had a combinator, showed you how to join it with a mixer. So I'm just going to create a couple quick little instances here. And we'll get right into this week's stuff. I'm going to go with Thorn Maelstrom, just like I did last week, I think. And you can see that they're both playing together. And how we're going to split them apart is going into the Show Programmer, which is in the Combinator faceplate up here. And when you bring that down, you're going to see Mixer 1, Thor 1, and Maelstrom 1. And when you click on it, you're going to see this light blue line. Come up here to where the scroll bar is. You can scroll to the left or to the right. And on the edges, you're going to see this line right here. And when I play my keyboard, I'm going to want this note to end on a B flat. And you can see right here, kind of small, is where it's going to end. So I'm going to bring this bottom down to the B flat. If I wanted to do both at once, I'd click the top, and it would take the Thor and the Maelstrom there. I'm just going to do Maelstrom. So I'm going to bring that over. Right there. And you see right here, it's A sharp 3. A sharp is the same as B flat. Come to the Thor, and you scroll all the way to the, whoa, scroll all the way to the left. And hit the black square, and put it right where this note ends. So, now it's only playing the mouse drum. If I go up one step, it hits the Thor. So now my bottom notes are here. My Thor is up here. Now, if I wanted to add another synth, Come in and create it. I'm going to do a subtractor. Come back up here and you can see it's added right here and it's over all of the sounds. But maybe I just want it where the maelstrom is. I can come all the way to the side. Cut it off where the maelstrom is. So now it's... It's not there. If I want the Thor to overlap a little bit in... It's in there. That's how you can do it. You can do it all the way up through your mixers, mixer as many as you want. As you add more, the scroll bar over here is activated as you can scroll through the list, which I have a demo song. Not really a demo song, but a demo combinator that I'm going to upload that you can download straight from my blog. Or basically, you can see I have a full 14 instruments, I think, 15 instruments, as or there's a variety of where they're playing through and where they're not playing through and I'll let you listen to what you can do with it through one run I did this in one run couldn't have done that if I didn't split my keyboard if you're into a live music then this is gonna work great for you because you can have two keyboards on say an 88 key keyboard when you're not needing to use octaves it helps you split your keyboard up instead of having to buy two keyboards and put it on different shelves it just makes it a lot simpler <laughs> What I did for the sound was I have a lot of pad effects, then I have a lot of um, polyphonic effects, and then I kind of had to separate them. So I made the pads in my left hand, which you can see these where they cut off right here at the edge of this B. Where those cut off is my left hand. If I keep all the sounds I want in my right hand, in the left hand too so they carry through but when I play over here in my right hand it's only playing these select sounds right here they have no room sound to them they're just there and there's no echo delay reverb anything as where my left hand is very pad and strong over here I have a very cut and dry sound kicks through it. There'll be a link in the description to my blog where you can download this record file and you can play with the sound and see what things do for yourself. So go check that out and tell me what you think.